So the next one that I'm going to show you is Overleaf. You just go to overleaf.com and you can choose to sign in using your Gmail account if you have one. Um, we are going to do a new project and let us just view all. And what we are going to search here is for APA. All right. Okay, so template and sample for altering APA, APA 7 manuscript. And what you can do here is you can open as template. So it's being saved for your project. Okay, um, you can just rename this. So what's happening here, um, as you can see that this is actually more for the tech savvy people. But you can copy and paste the different section of the um, text here and then it will automatically be generated into the PDF documents on your right hand side. This is how you simply uh, change the um, title. So I just call it the test document. And then of course, if you come in and look at this here, you would see that you will see that the title here is sample APA style document. So you want to change that. This is uh, what I say as um, earlier. This would be our test document. And short title is um, testing overleaf. And then the author here, you can put it as Please put your own name, Zing Sim, um, and it's a uh, Sunray University. Okay. Okay, and then what do I put here on my the letter head? Will be Sim. That's my name. Okay. So keywords we don't have to change now. Um, this is author note. If you see here, then this is author note here. So we don't need the author note here. And what we have was um, the abstract. If you can come over here and look at this, this would be then the abstract. So what we had was just now this piece of thing. This is our abstract. Okay, let me go back to my overleaf. And I will just put the abstract here. Now, if you see this and I recompile the document, what you'll be seeing is that I actually have the latest there. there. And then, of course, uh, the keywords, we had different keywords as well. So I just need to copy this. And then uh, we will just put the keywords here. Okay, now, okay, so alternate we don't have and all this we don't have. So what we can do is we can actually um, delete them. And if you recompile the document, you would see that. Come on. Okay, so you would see that it's here. Okay, so the test document, we didn't change anything here. What we are going to do is we are just going to just require the introduction here okay and we will just look at the introduction okay so this is text site this is lipsum 2 let me just do the introduction here so of course there are further documents that we don't need so what we will just do we will just delete them away um yeah hang on this is um okay let's just delete them away and that's all required of course the references are not in yet and we will need to put our references in later okay so i'm going to next i'm going to show you um how to do it for using word template so for the word template, you go to templates.office.com and you can choose to look for APA. And what you are going to get here is, so this is APA style word. You just download the document. Okay. 
and then it would be in the format. So here you have it. You can put in the title, the author, the institution. And what you can be doing here is that you can copy and paste the abstract here. I'm just going to do that for you. So if you look at this, this is our test document again. And then we are just going to come back here and just be sure that when you paste it, make sure that you know, okay, I need to enable editing. Hang on. Okay. No. So what you do is you just make sure that you paste only text. So when you paste text, it will take the original formatting there. Okay. Now the running head would be okay. The title would be we have seen that it will be test document. So it's test document. So the title here. Okay. So you just change this to test document. The author is the last name is behind. Um, this is the problem for us Asians because uh, by default um, for the Chinese, um, the family name is in front. So <coughs> Just make sure that when you write, for example, right now, Zing Sim, this is your family name. And if you want to write your family name in front, um, of course, not for APA formatting, um, it should be this way. So what I choose is Sim, then comma, Zing. Yeah. So that is to show people that what is stated in front is actually my family name. So author note, we don't have any, we don't have to put it. So this is abstract, it's done. And then of course, we need to go on for our next page, uh, which is uh, introduction. Okay. Okay. So for this one, you can see as well. Mm, let me insert a page break. Okay. And then I'll just put it in here and then I'll just put introduction. And what I do here is introduction is actually my um, section. Is it section? Yeah, so it's my section. So I put it as section. So over here you have your section here or you can have it as your heading. Okay, so heading is the correct one, I think. Okay. All right, so here we need to put test document. So I think after testing out the different tree, um, yeah, and of course here you need to put in your references as well. What we can do is that um, earlier our references, um, what was our references here again? Okay, these were our references. I'll just copy here and then put it here. Mm. Okay, the advantage of having um, referencing tool is that, say for example, you can go to references and I've um, I have got Mendeley with me. I use Mendeley. The first one I know is ORR. So I can just select ORR and then, it's, sorry, hang on, just make sure that it's here. Okay, it's here for me to insert my citation. And then I just go insert citation. Okay, and the author's name is ORR. Okay, I just click OK and I'll insert it here. And then you'll see that it's being formatted for me. And then the next one that I go to is, uh, so I have Waslo, Motivala and Husain. I'll also just go here and I'll just Waslo. Okay, it's 2012, yeah. Okay, and then I have... Uh, Mobile learning key issues to consider. Is it the right name? Hang on, was low. 
mobile learning and policies this is the one and then the motivala okay a framework and evaluation and the last one is husin mobile learning okay so i have all the trees and then you see they are automatically generated for me and the next one that i need to do is let me just get rid of all this and then i will just put in here references okay mm, and then just come back here and let me see if there is a format for references and no so i just use heading one come down here and what you do you go to references and you just put your insert bibliography so if you see here it's also uh, alphabetically ordered and everything is in the same place um, and then you can just save this save as a PDF document okay okay and name it as test document all right so i have shown you three um three different ways to see um, the first one is uh, we've used typeset io the second one is we used overleaf and the third one is we use um, um, word template for the formatting of a specific document here i've been using mendeley and um, what we can do with Mendeley is that if you read any articles, you can just save and drop your articles here. Um, go back to the referencing tools and go back to the videos that uh, I've shared and look out uh, which of these uh, three tools uh, that uh, you will be most comfortable using, whether it's um, here, Zotero, Mendeley or EndNote. So if you have any of those, uh, they would actually show as a plug-in for the Word document here. Yeah, that's all for class. And I hope that this would be useful for you. Enjoy. Bye.